in the corner than a typical Muay Thai boy boy team because you know they focus a lot on conditioning. I mean, they kick palm trees for fun. So they don't believe in wrestling in between the rounds. I wouldn't consider that fun. <laughs> but if that's what they do, okay. <laughs> Coach Q actually said before the fight, Joe's game plan was to use the clinch much like Martello Jones did on that defeat of Woolridge a couple of years ago. <laughs> Woolridge being first to the punch, also countering. Joey having the opportunity but not taking advantage of it. Woolridge seems to be composed. He's, he's well-rounded from the fighter I've seen previously. Absolutely. Before, it was too much of this or not enough of this. I'm looking at a pretty well-rounded fighter Absolutely. now. Absolutely. You see that two hands and a foot? He's rocking his techniques. Referee Lightborn breaking it up in the clinch. Five seconds, no action. He was right to do so. Woolridge getting two big hands, followed with a kick. And Woolridge is actually controlling the inside. Joey looking for a knee, gets punished with a takedown. You see that referee Lightborn awarding a point for the takedown. But it doesn't give a standing count. No, no. He just orders the opponent yes. to the neutral corner yes. and then resumes action. A absolutely. That's Sanchao rules. Whereas, as you saw in K1, they will get a standing eight count. No such thing here. I think Joey is... Not edged out. I think he's been pushed over, Mike. Referee Lightboom putting them in neutral corners and the action begins again. Oh, nice body punch. Yes. I heard his corner shout out to him. No, now's the time. But well, they were trying to say put together and string together, string together more than one punch. Yes. Ah, the taste of blood is in the air right now, Mike. Goofus trying stunts, and that's the dirt. the result of the 11th bout of the night. Unanimous decision in the blue corner, Jamal Goofy Woolridge. Couple 
พันธ์